Hey guys, um, I thought we're out here camping, we, we uh, managed to get a weekend away. So I thought I'd show you um, just how we set up the Patriot Campers X1 with our two boys. So as you can see in here, come in here, we run basically pretty straightforward. We've got the kids room, <clears throat> um, probably didn't do the best job picking it out, but kids room, um, heaps of room in here for them, a couple of sleeping bags, and um, just a couple of the the heel and ox stretches. So these, um, you know, we just started running these. We used to run like a kiddo bunk, but now we run these. And I'll show you why in a minute. But um, just uh, yeah, work really well. Really, um, yeah, really simple. But one of the nice things with the X1, come in a bit more now. That's it. Get out of the sun. <laughs> um, so one of the nice things with the X1 is. We can store everything up on the bed um, and then throw the stretches down. So basically everything you see in here, kids sleeping bags, kids pillows, stretches, our bedding, everything's all in the, um, all inside the tent. So swing around. So you can see up here, we've got our, um, our bedding, just a doona and two pillows. Um, pass the camera. So doona, two pillows, pretty straightforward. We just sort of jam it all forward, basically once this folds over, you can see there, it's sitting, I'll grab the camera again, make it elephant short. Um, you can see there basically it's, all the, um, the bedding is sitting just on the other side of where the mattress folds over. Um, and then, in essence, just fold the staircase up out of the way. As you can see there, I'll grab you again everything's all nice and flat so everything's kind of sitting around about the same height as the mattress i'll try and be real quick with this i'm trying i don't want to have a real long video basically push that down i'll go around later on and i'll put two little clips on you can just unzip the sides but this is probably one of the sort of key points these stretches this is what makes it a lot easier so these little stretches have got these little tabs under them they come off and just chuck them up here for now and then I'm trying to turn it so you can see I've got these little poles I basically just pull one pole out and they've got bungee cords on them so they don't fall apart so one, two, now it's long enough, come inside out, um, now it's long enough it'll fit on the bed. So I'll throw the first one up there. I like to um, sort of lay them out. So I like to lay it out so that the mattress, the, um, the stretcher sort of protects the, the bottom of the bed. And then I throw these little legs, they just sit on there like that. So anyway, do it with the second one, real quick. Another nice thing with these is they're lightweight. Um, downside is they're not cheap and they're an expensive stretcher. But I don't know if you're um, if you've got the right setup and it's quick and easy. Uh, in my, I don't know. Just in my opinion, it almost doesn't matter how much they cost as long as it works really effectively. So we've got two kids. One kid doesn't really matter. It's all the same. You can see there I've thrown the second stretcher over the top so when the canvas comes over when we fold all the canvas over basically protects helps protect the canvas 
not that there's any sharp edges, but if there were, on those legs. So that's all up there. So basically the bedding is no secret. Just basically throw it all up on there. And this is one of the nice things with the X1. You don't have to be too crazy with it. There's heaps of room. Throw it all on top. It's weirder than that. Um, here we've cut basically a piece of carpet. Not everyone needs to do this, but we do it just to look after them. Um, but we've just gone to Bunnings and bought a bit of kind of like marine carpet. Makes it a bit nice, bit, bit nicer inside. But we do it mainly to protect the floor. Throw that on top. And there it all is. It's all up there, out of the other way. And that's just a push. And then our poles, pull the poles out, and I'll throw them in here. That's it. So we'll go outside. I'll, I'm not going to show you how to pack it up, but I'll just give you a real quick rundown of a few little tips when we're folding it all in. But that's what you can see. As you can see, we've got all our bedding, our bedding, kids' bedding, pillows, sleeping bags, stretchers, all up here. And then, um, as I say, we just fold it all up. So I'll show you one little tip, um, but otherwise, that's it. Thanks. So there's only really one other tip. Now, this, all of this isn't like a, a, a detailed how-to and how you should do it. This is just how we, Alison and I and the two kids use it. So a couple little pointers that we try and show people. Um, main thing with the tent, I pulled all the pegs out. Basically, we fold it all over. This is just a, come in a bit here. This is just something that we've added just to make it a little bit easier. Keep coming. So we run a couple of carabiners. You, you don't need, we run the Night Eyes um, S-Biners. So they're uh, probably overkill for what we need to do, but they just work really nice. Um, you can just go to Bunnings and buy some little simple carabiners. Stainless steel or something that's not going to rust. Um, aluminium or something. But all I do is just hook the tent up over here. You can, if you're really keen, you can hook it on. A little bit higher but this is enough and by doing that basically means that's our first fold already done and you can see here you've got the damp for the water and everything just grab a rag clean it all up up to you like as i say i'm probably going a little bit over the top just because i'm trying to really look after the gear but um but yeah just the two little clips just make it a lot easier we we'll grab the whole tent throw it on top and we throw the bag on. So I'll show you how the bag all goes on. There's no trickery. It's um, it'll be exactly everything packed in there, like I said. And the bag just takes a couple of minutes to put on. So I'll show you that next. So last but not least, I had a ground sheet under here, just one of these sea gear mats. So I've just thrown that on top. So literally everything to do with the tent is either in the tent or on the tent. Last job. Throw the bag on. So obviously that's it, threw the zipper around, didn't bother filming it because no one wants to watch me zip it up, I don't know, 10 minutes or so to set, pack it all up, um, all you got to do now, throw the straps on, you can see there's enough room in the bag, it's tight, don't get me wrong, it's tight, um, the first few times you do it, it's going to take you a bit of practice, but after a few times you'll have, you'll have it nailed, every single time you'll be able to pack it down, um, exactly like I've showed you. So that's the reason we use those stretches. That's the reason we prefer the X1 for a family. Um, heaps more forgiving, heaps more space. Anyway, hope helped. We might try and get a video of the next camp we get to tonight um, of setting it all back up again. Thanks very much, guys.